Hello and welcome to Daily Red Video. In today's episode, we are going to see everything about the Google Photos. If you have recently switched from Android, then you obviously know that Google Photos is also available for iPhone and iPads, and you can use that service just like the way you used it in Android. But this video is completely for beginners who are new to iPhone and who are looking for an alternative to iCloud storage or any other cloud storage. There are plenty of other cloud storage options, but most of them are not completely free. They offer very limited amount of storage. Microsoft's OneDrive, I believe, is there. Dropbox is there and plenty of other cloud storage players are there in the market. But they do offer limited amount of storage when it comes to media and uh, mostly for document storage for, you know, text documents or any Word documents, cloud storage services will be the perfect choice. But when it comes to Google Photos, it is a separate service that lets you to store the photos and videos on your both your Android or iPhone or iPad. And even you can access it from your Mac computer or Windows system as well. So the thing is like it is completely free and people are afraid to use Google for several reasons and one of the main reason being the privacy reason because whatever the photo that we upload is completely you know used for research purposes by the Google artificial intelligence for their you know data gathering and research purposes like they do provide several options like uh, tracking your faces you know within your photos that you upload they'll track your faces and put it here so that you can easily search and find them from the photos they'll be able to track which particular location you are in and uh, Apart from the location GPS data uh, that can be tracked and what are the objects that are available in your pictures that you upload. This looks interesting you know for you to find the photos easier but when it comes to privacy concern it is kind of a bit scary like how much data that Google can you know sniff out of the photos and videos that you upload. If you are okay with Google photos and if you want to take control of certain privacy related settings and services you can do them here uh, you know by not letting uh, to group similar faces you can prevent google from you know detecting and showing uh, the pets and uh, you know people that that are available in your pictures the things you know all those recommendations suggestions will be uh, can be turned off uh, from these toggles also you can choose the google location history to be turned off uh, to prevent any location tracking from the pictures that you take and it is important to turn off location primarily from settings camera app in your iphone you know to prevent any metadata or location data first of all you know store with your photos and if you're concerned about any of these privacy uh, you know things then you can use the iCloud storage which gives you the 5 GB uh, cloud storage space and you can uh, you know extend it you can buy more storage of course but if you're not okay for buying you know more storage and you don't think that this will be a problem to you by uploading all the photos to your uh, gmail account securely because your gmail account with otp verification this two-step verification is going to be the system that is going to hold all your contents inside so make sure that your gmail account is secure all right so these are the photos that are available in my iphone and things you should know is whenever i upload a photo to the google photos app it will show this cloud icon with a tick symbol you know uh, once i opened it it will not be there but uh, when you preview it in a thumbnail view then you will be able to see that the cloud icon uh, with tick symbol at the bottom right corner of every single image that is available here i have uploaded all the photos to my google account and here you are seeing you know the cloud symbol with the tick mark you know that represents that everything have been uploaded so the thing is like there are two options for you to upload one is manual backup and another one is automated backup so the automated backup is nothing but you can turn on this backup and sync option so that all your photos will be automatically uploaded from your photos app from your camera roll to the google drive the google account that you have linked in and you can choose whether while using the mobile data whether the photos alone should be uploaded or videos also should be uploaded you can choose them here and very important thing is you have to choose whether you need the free unlimited storage where the google applies certain level of compression you know a kind of uh, it won't make you lose the quality of the pictures and videos that you upload it will be decent it will be excellent you know to be honest uh, but if you don't want google to compress any single part of your photos or videos then you have to choose the paid option which will limit your cloud storage service to 15 gb that is the limit of your google drive account so you have these two options and you have to choose accordingly you know based on your choice and if you want to back up everything manually like here you can see the albums are shown in a date wise weekly and monthly uh, also shown here so if the album is quite old 
then you can see that here and taking backup every month you know once in a month is always recommended if any accidental theft or any accidental damages happen to your iphone there is a possibility that we cannot be sure 100 percent that our data will be safe with our iphone storage so it is important to back up all your photos and videos periodically like monthly ones or two months ones and you know name the albums correctly and that way you can make sure that all your data are safe and stored in your gmail account and as i mentioned earlier it is important to password protect and keep a strong password and have two-step authentication enabled for your gmail account your entire photos and videos will be safe and once you have uploaded it you can create new album and you can keep everything organized as per your choice here i'm creating an album test three and then i can add photos select photos I'm just adding two of these photos and click on add. If I want to add any further text or any location related data, then I can do it, you know, by uh, clicking on edit album and then I can double tap. I can choose the options from here. So this is how you upload and, uh, you know, uh, organize, keep everything, uh, the photos and videos organized with your uh, Gmail account using Google Photos app. And if you have turned on the suggestions and settings, then this section in the third tab for you, you will see uh, a kind of an animation clips combining all the photos that you have recently uploaded based on your album uploads. And the next one is sharing. Like if you want to share any specific photo album, uh, then with your friends or, you know, fellow users who are using Gmail, then you can do that here. And, uh, you know, the sharing option is also available within the album itself. N navigate to the album and click on share icon and then select to whom you actually want to share this particular Google Photos with. All your Google contacts will be shown here if you don't have your phone contacts enabled. Also, you can use the link, you know, to create a link and then you can share that particular link, copy that link and share it with your friends and family members. So link copied to the clipboard automatically. You can simply paste it on your WhatsApp or any other chat services and you can and, uh, share it with them and another important thing is to free up the storage you can select this three lines from the top left corner and then free up space here you will see how many photos have been uploaded whether you can delete all these photos from your local iphone or ipad storage or not so it is pretty simple it automatically uploads and uh, if you have the backup and sync you know turned on let you delete and free up your iphone storage in you know just a couple of taps so that's how easy it is to you know manage and uh, store all the photos that you have on your iphone or ipad with google photos application and one more important thing is when you go to this google photos uh, settings option you will see the photo scan it is a separate application you have to download from the Apple App Store on your iOS device and here if you have any very old photographs and you want to capture that and preserve it in your Google photo storage then you can do that by open opening this photo scan option you have to select the circle you know uh, by selecting the four corners of the damaged photo or any older photos from your albums let the photo scan application complete its scanning and it fine tunes it it automatically enhances it with the help of this you know the glare removal and everything so you can turn on the flash turn off the flash everything you can do it here and the photo will be stored in your google photos application that's how useful it is and i hope you have found this video useful if some of your friends also getting a new iphone and new to this google photos entire thing then you may share this video with them and don't forget to subscribe this channel for more tips and tutorials thanks for watching have a wonderful day